you know, after serving three years in the air force, Hercules starts wrestling in 1979, mainly performing in Florida and the Texas territories as Hercules Hernandez. When did you first see him? Would it have been here in 79 as a fan watching? No, God, no, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really get to see Herc until, um, I guess he was in Florida or mid Atlantic is one of the assassins at first. He was like assassin number nine and then Mr. Wrestling eight and doing that stuff. And I was like, who's the jacked up guy under the hood. And that was Herc. And then he came to mid South. That was really the first time I'd say mid early eighties. So in 82, he joins NWA central States and teams up with Dewey Robertson and the two win the central States tag team championship on a couple of occasions. And he even got to feud with the NWA NWA world champion, Harley race. Of course, Dewey Robertson is eventually going to go on to be known as the missing link. Missing link is uh man. That's old school wrestling right there. You got any link stories you can share with us? <laughs> um, you know, I, I, I had the, the pleasure of being around Dewey when he was missing link in, in mid South and, and Dallas. And he was a unique cat to, to say the least. And his wife traveled with him who was a super nice lady as well. Just, they were, if you were, they, they were nudists. Okay. They lived in a nudist colony. Okay. Um, and they were exactly what you would expect of if you were going to do a stereotypical without ever seeing a nudist colony, what you think the people would be like in a nudist colony. That was Dewey and his wife, uh, just pretty low key and, uh, live and let live. They like to, uh, imbibe and, uh, some cannabis from time to time. I've okay, heard about all the that. Time. I've heard about that. Yeah. And it was the first time that, uh, I knew <laughs> that I knew anybody that just smoked leaves. And when do he had nothing else to smoke? He'd roll up some leaves. Wait, you're smoke. saying like le- not marijuana leaves, but well, like- marijuana leaves, but not the bud. Okay. He would just, he would cut up and smoke the leaves if he had nothing else to smoke, uh, which I was like. You know, it's something it was really good for was emphysema, but, uh, <laughs> well, he when was you, looking for anything he could get. So it was, when he you, just was a, a very interesting, interesting person, man. Had a lot of, uh, theories on everything that there was in life. He wasn't necessarily a conspiracy theorist, but he had unique outlooks on pretty much everything in the world. Like why some hotels would give you a big key ring that had the number on it and why some would just give you a key and put it in a, uh, envelope. Uh, just if there was a subject, Dewey would have an opinion on it. 